Hi everyone, my name is Ray Kirsch. Today I'm going to be showing you how to update your plugins and theme in WordPress. So the first thing you're going to want to do is log in. And once you log in, go to the backend dashboard. In this area, the easiest way to do it is to just look up top here and you'll see the, these two arrows. You can click on that. Now that's going to take me to this page right here. And I do want to say um, it's extremely important that you go ahead and you always have backups of your website before doing updates, especially um, big updates. If your site has content on it and you don't want to run the risk of messing things up, um, you should go ahead and back everything up. And I will make a video on how to do that as well. I'll put a link in the description below. But for now, what we want to do is go through and look at the plugins that we need to update. And you want to keep your eye on this right here because this will tell you whether or not it's compatible with the current version of WordPress you're running. Now at this current moment in time my current version of WordPress is out of date so before I update my plugins I want to update my WordPress. So I'm going to click on update now underneath this area right up here and that will update WordPress itself. Now, once you update your WordPress, you'll see this message up here, a success message. And now that our WordPress is updated, we can go ahead and update our plugins. So we're going to repeat the process. Just click on this arrow up here. OK, so we're back on this page. And now we want to go ahead and check that our plugins are compatible with our version of WordPress. And it looks like all of them are. So I'm going to go ahead and click Select All. Once I do that, I'm going to click Update Plugins. Now once the plugins have updated successfully, you will see these success messages um, for each plugin that you've updated. That is how to go ahead and update your plugins in WordPress. Now if for some reason you went ahead and you updated your plugins and you check back on your site and something is wrong with a specific plugin or something is wrong with a the theme, the first thing you want to do is go through your plugin list and try disabling each plugin one by one to see which one is causing the problem, assuming that a plugin is causing the issue after an update. Okay, I hope you found this video helpful. Check the description below for more links to other content. If you have any questions, comments, or would like to see a video um, about a specific feature in WordPress, please leave it in a comment below. If you subscribe, you'll be notified, should you choose, of any new content that I post. Thanks for watching.